Glory be to God in the eyes and peace be to men of good way, men who are God's friends. Amen. The children of God, Jehovah. Glory be to us this morning for what God has done for us. We thank God that we are alive and we are amongst the living. We bless God for the miracle of life. Amen. Glory be to God. That we are fruitful in every good works that God is leading us on the path on which we must walk on today in the name of Jesus Christ. With gladness we have come before the presence of God this morning. We belong to those that rejoice when it is said unto us, let us go into the house of our God. For the house of our God is our homes where we indwell, our own homes where we dwell in, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The house of our God is our nation, the Lord God. Wherever we congregate in the name of our God, where two or three we ever come together in the name of God. It may be on the internet, in social media. Amen. Glory be to God. Wherever we come to acknowledge God is the house of God in the name of Jesus Christ. We are living temples. God indwells us. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. We are glad today because we have come into the house of our God in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. For they have set, they have set uh, thrones of judgment within the house of God. Today we are before the mercy seat of our God. Thrones of mercy. Glory be to God. Come before God to receive the help you need. The God who has the power to kill and to cast into hell. The God who has the power to forgive all our sins we have come before him this morning to acknowledge that he is God. He said that if you acknowledge me before the Lord, that I will acknowledge you before before my Father. That's the words of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we are acknowledging, acknowledging Jesus Christ for the Word. Amen. We are saying that God Jehovah is the only one and true God. Amen. Our God who has moved ahead of us to break the way today. Our God who has provided all our needs. Glory to God. Jesus Christ is interceding on our behalf today in the heavenly. Glory be to God. Everything concerning us will be as God said it to be here on earth in Jesus' mighty name. We are intercessors here on earth on behalf of the nations, on behalf of our families, on behalf of the body of Christ. Amen. On behalf of our government, as we are going to learn from a spiritual principle of uh, that, uh, that um, Father Abraham used. Amen. Father Abraham or Abraham used. Amen. When he prayed for Sodom. Sodom and Gomorrah. He prayed for that for that evil nation. Amen. The judgment of God was upon them, but he prayed. We can remember that he went to rescue his nephew Lot. Amen. From from from, he lived among these evil people in Sodom and Gomorrah. When he was taken captive by the kings that came against Sodom and Gomorrah, he went to rescue his uh, his his nephew. Glory be to God. Today we are going to learn from his experience that he intercede on behalf of that evil nation. He prayed to God. That's what we do here on earth. We are interceding. Jesus Christ is interceding on our behalf in the heavens. Amen. We are not passing through this world without knowing why we are here. We must lift up prayers. Pray, 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 pray for the government. Pray against the spirit of confusion. When we see the spirit of confusion, we know it because we know the spirit of peace. Because the peace of God is upon us. When we hear negative utterances, when we hear any evil satanic voice speaking through our government, we recognize it. Because we know the voice of God. How the voice of God manifests. How the spirit of God manifests in love, in goodness, in mercy, in brotherly kindness, in peace. Amen. In fruitfulness. Amen. In joy, rejoicing. Not the spirit of fear. Not you know, the world of oppression. In good things being done through the organ of government, through the various departments. We recognize the voice of God in our families. Because the Spirit of God manifests in peace in families. Unity in families. One purpose. Amen. One ministry in Christ in families. One altar. The voice of God speaking in families against satanic altars. We recognize the voice of God. When there's confusion, we know it's not the voice of God. When families are coming against one another, we know it's not the voice of God. When doors are open for evil things to penetrate, when people in families are throwing strange oracles, we know it's not the voice of God. Where people have erected uh, satanic altars, amen, and placing the names of God's children upon those altars, calling and taking out items and placing them, we know that's not the will of God. There are those satanic altars will not, will not stand against the will of God in the name of Jesus Christ. We recognize the voice of God. God has said he has commanded the blessings upon us. God has made us strong in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty in his hand to do exploits, to overturn every work done against us. Every spirit invoke contrary to the will of God. We recognize the voice of God that strange things will not happen in our families in the name of Jesus Christ. That those who walk on the crooked path, they perish in the name of Jesus Christ. We recognize the voice of God that the foundation of the earth will not be shaken in the name of Jesus Christ. We recognize the voice of God that Jesus Christ is our high priest intercedi on our behalf in the 
the heaven is right now in the name of Jesus Christ. That his blood is speaking better things than the blood of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. That through that blood we have been redeemed, we have been consecrated and sanctified unto God. That no evil shall prevail against us. We recognize the voice of God that we are the ambassadors of this Lord God in this world, his life, his thoughts that, that carry out his mandate upon the nations as we marry men to female. We recognize the voice of God that no evil shall prevail against us in the name of Jesus Christ. That the rod of oppression will not be laid on the land of the righteous. We recognize the voice of God. He said, as of me of the nations, I will give it to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The righteous judgment of God concerning us and our children will prevail. We recognize the voice of God that it is according to his will that we marry men to female, that our children marry. That the husbands of our children come for, the wives of our children come for, in the name of Jesus Christ. That there's no barriers, no lack, no poverty in our families. In the name of Jesus Christ. We recognize the voice of God so we hear shout of victory and rejoicing in the name of Jesus Christ. But that you are silent, the voices of strong men and women, in the name of Jesus Christ. We know that was the blood of Jesus Christ has done for us. But now, you have broken the curse in the name of Jesus Christ. By the anointing, you have anointed our heads with oil today. We recognize your voice. We stand as oracles of God and we speak against you. You spirit of witchcraft, we come against you. You evil force, we come against you. You in the spirit, we curse you. You mercy, be that cast off. Move in the name of Jesus Christ into the ocean. You evil arrows, go back to the head of the senders. Every word, all of about pronounce of house, judgment, accusation from the feet of hell, satanic judgment cannot stand. For we recognize the voice of God. We come against you. You spirit of your cause, we rebuke you. You spirit in the air, we curse you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we come against you. You cannot call us into your gatherings. In the name of Jesus Christ, we recognize the voice of God. In our going and coming, God will lead us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we shall not die by the wayside. In the name of Jesus Christ, sacrifices done on the roadside, we uproot by the power of the living God. We recognize the voice of God. Because in our children, surely we shall see the goodness of God concerning them. By their names, they have been blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, their heads lifted up by God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we recognize the voice of God. Because in our children, Reori, God, you have restored the yes destroyed by the caterpillar. Can't get words. In the name of Jesus Christ, every attack from the pit of hell overturned. In the name of Jesus Christ, rituals done in families, in ancestral lands. In the name of Jesus Christ, by evil uncles, aunties, grandparents. In the name of Jesus Christ, ancestors past and this, and this generation. Father, you are not nullified and overturned by the power of the living God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we recognize the voice of God. In the name of the every item presented to us, water, drink, things deposited. Father, Lord, we have spirits have been invoked. They are returning back to send us by the power of the living God. Our children are separated from every evil thing. Eh, taken from the children's eh. Father, Lord, Father, 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 Father,
in the snare. Help them in We are enjoying your freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. Evil arrows. We don't have to say that. In the name of Jesus. We don't have to say that. We don't have to say that. In the name of Jesus. Let them be falling by their whole hands. Let the wind come against them. Let the wind of the vaccination blow, blow upon everyone and tell to come against us. Like the shaft, we have been blown this day. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you have commanded the blessings of God upon us. We are blessed. In your blessed wherever we go, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Baba Baba, you are blessed our part, Lord God. You over God with the fat of the, the head, in the name of Jesus Christ. We shall eat, Lord God. Baba Baba, Baba, and enjoy the goodness of God in the land of the living. Every item presented to us in dream, every altar, in the name of your sacrifice, in the name of Jesus Christ, accusation, every word from the pit of hell, we overturn, in the name of Jesus Christ. We speak life and spirit today. It will be as God said to be concerning us. We shall live long to see our children's children, in the name of Jesus Christ. As we children, we live long. To see that children say, in the name of Jesus Christ, we literally stand against us admitting our children in the name of Jesus Christ, bringing drugs, pornography, using children in sex and child labor, coming, oh, rah, 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 swinging evil into the lives of children and making them to run and to rebel against their families and communities. We shake your foundations in the name of Jesus Christ. The judgment of God is upon your head in the name of Jesus. You find a place to hide. We thank God for what God is saying. You will not enjoy that evil money in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall bring sorrow to you. You use that money to buy sickness and disease as you have freed the children of God. You use that money to buy sorrow in the name of Jesus Christ because the blessing of God makes rich and has no sorrow. Has no sorrow. That money, you will use it to buy sorrow as you sell drugs, as you do evil in our communities in the name of Jesus Christ. As you bring that, the children of God, your money will be used to buy sorrow in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against you. We come against you. You will wake up during the bread of sorrow. We will come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. We curse you. We will put your foundation from our communities in the name of Jesus Christ and deliver the children by the mighty hands of God. Oh God, send protecting angels to our schools, to our universities and colleges, we are the humans to send God to pour out every evil from our schools, wherever our children are, in the decades, set a heart of fire around them, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you this morning. Who is like unto you? That God, you have spoken. You have commanded the blessings. No man can overturn that which you have spoken concerning us. It is well with us. Father Abraham was an intercessor, intercessor here on earth. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are interceding today. You hear our prayer. Say, call upon me in your time of trouble that you will answer us. There's trouble in the government. Confusion in the name of Jesus. Strange voices in the name of Jesus Christ. We do not know, Father Lord, what is happening. Show us the road. Show us. Show us. Show us. Show our leaders, president of nations, the road. Let them be humbled before your mighty hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them hear the voice of wisdom. Let them seek heavenly wisdom. Everyone attending to use the God, president of nations, for their own evil purpose. purpose. Let them fall by the hands of the living God. Separate our president from evil. In the name of Jesus Christ, separate our senators and congressmen and mayors and governors, Father Lord, councilmen and women, in the name of Jesus Christ, secretary of state, everyone that will make decisions, the judiciary, the judges, all of God, or the various level of the superior court, the, 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 all, all, all of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, the are courts, Father Lord, the municipal courts, in the name of Jesus Christ, the various levels, all of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, shake down the foundation of evil, in the name of Jesus Christ, let your righteous judgment prevail. We come against confusion. We come against spirit of discrimination. Racial profiling. We come against all anything that will not bring gladness to you. That will not glorify your name on earth yet. We shake it down in America, in Nigeria, in Israel, in all the nations of the world. In the name of Jesus Christ. We shake down foundation of evil. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let your righteous judgment prevail. We present to you our military, the law enforcement, for the police force, all the behavior center, the immigration officers, all the correction officers, everyone, for the Lord, that are bare hands on behalf of their government country, so let God. Let your righteous image prevail in the name of Jesus Christ, that it do not be used to go into battle that you have not ordained in the name of Jesus Christ, that you have not ordered in the name of Jesus Christ. It do not be used to do evil against humanity in the name of Jesus Christ, that it do not be used against our children, against us in our communities in the name of Jesus Christ. You pray that Father Lord, let your children arise in the police force, in the ministry, in the immigration office, in the office, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in, the, in, the, in, the, in all the hands of ministry, let your children arise and be in position of leadership. We do not want a traitor in the name of Jesus Christ. One, Father Lord, that is sending intelligent information with foreign countries. Expose them, they will find no place to hide. For your word says, Father Lord, there's no place where evil can hide in this world. Even the things that are spoken in secret, in bedrooms, in the human center, habit, through private tel conversation, through telephone, anything, you should be shouted up in, on, the, on the rooftop for everybody to know, for everybody to know, for everybody to hear, for everybody to hear, for everybody to hear, for everybody to hear. Not to be in, not to be in, not to be in, in the name of Jesus Christ. In 
the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be shattered up. Let it be through the news media. Let it be shattered up. Let us see we arise, Lord God, and stand on righteous ground to say no against evil. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us children we be protected in our nations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those attempting to say that country, Lord God, to the organization of Islamic countries, Lord God, against the will of the people. In the name of Jesus, we change them that evil. Your children have every freedom, but I'm Lord to worship you. Oh, Rabba, as the shoes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, so you're giving us a free me. No one can impose any religion upon us. In the name of Jesus Christ, arise and shake down this foundation of evil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the secret meetings we had in Ghana at night, but I'm Lord to deliberate on issues relating to our nations. Let them be confused. In the name of Jesus, let them not find their way as they go. Let them be blinded. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the hands of God come against them. Father Lord, those who believe that the nations belong to them, that they are mighty, they are powerful, that they can sit and deliberate on issues that relate to your children. Father Lord, and Father Lord, they are not taking care of your children, providing the needs that your children no need. Father Lord, but they are after their own evil, their own grief. Father, let them be shaken, let them be blown, let the wind come against them, let their foundation be overturned by the power of the living God. In the name of Jesus Christ, that your righteous judgment for our nations, Lord. God will prevail. For the nations of the world belong to you. I speak as the oracle of God against institutional wickedness. Wherever in this world, wherever the foundation is in the name of Jesus Christ, as the oracle of God, I speak this morning. We shake the four winds. We overturn every plan of the enemy, every plan of government to come against the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ. For the church of God prevails in good works. We uphold the great commission. For your word says, go out into the other world's ends of the world to preach this gospel. That all authority in heaven and earth have been given to you. All authority underneath the best of the waters in the name of Jesus Christ has been given to you as Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And you have given that authority to us to preach this gospel. Who can stand against your will? We all put you. 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 We now bow down to God today in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, let the wind of the passage come against you as you lift up your voice and your hand against God. Oh, come on. Let you be falling from your seat, from your high places as King Herod fell and he was eaten up by words in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh yes, you will give God the glory. You will bow down before the mighty hands of God in the name of Jesus Christ. As the plague, we are upon the land of Egypt because of the hand hand of King Pharaoh. Let it be upon your head, upon your household that lift up your voice or your hands against the kingdom of God. You will attempt to take innocent life. We come against you. We pull you down by the power of the living God. The wind bringing evil is upon your head until you repent in the name of Jesus Christ. As you have afflicted the church, so we do so much for the church of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Lord God Almighty, this morning we bless you as we lift up the leaders in the church to you, that the church will not compromise with the world. We lift up the council of elders and ministers. We thank you that we will stand in that rightful position to press on in the name of Jesus Christ, the entire congregation. We are not spectators within the house of God. The Lord God has work for us to do. The church will come to be a house of prayer, not a den of robbers. Every essence, everything done, oh God Almighty, we are the treasure of men has come into the church we overturn in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let your righteous judgment for your church be in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your children will stand up and begin to lift up prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for miracle, signs and wonders being done through the church. We pray that we power this gospel and we preach. We pray that your children are going to feed on the spiritual principles that we are learning. That we're going to apply them in their daily living. We pray, Jehovah God, that we are telling them for the full eye of our Rehim Center or our spiritual maturity that you expect from us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, when we pass through trials and tribulations, when we pass through temptation, let us know that it is joy. Let us count in joy because it's trying about faith, Lord God, we produce endurance. For endurance of soonest is working us for us to make to make us com- complete and mature, lacking nothing in the name of Jesus Christ. You are not the man that will tempt us. You are not the man that is tempted by evil. You do not tempt us, but we are not sent to be tempted. We'll be dra- drawn away from you because of our because of the pride of life, the craving of our flesh in the name of Jesus Christ, because we lost of our eyes in the name of Jesus Christ. We repent this day in the name of Jesus Christ. For you do not tempt any man. Anyhow, we are not allowed sent to be tempted in the name of Jesus Christ because temptation brings about sin, sin about death. All of God, he in a hashin, rebel motion, rebel motion, rebel motion, rebel motion. We turn back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. May your will be done through us, your by God. That the true love will be in our hearts, Lord God, as a congregation of God's today, united in one spirit in Christ. And we continue to support mission work around the world in the name of Jesus Christ. As we 
and carry out all your ordinances and strengthen the families in the name of Jesus Christ and do good works as we pray over the lives of our children and empower them to lead righteous lives here on earth and, 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 and they become strong pillars within your house that bring source into your kingdom. Oh, children who will take over from their children who do great works through your power in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, the church will not compromise in the name of Jesus Christ. The light of the church will not grow dim in the name of Jesus Christ upon the revelation that Jesus Christ is the son of the living God, our Lord and Savior, the one that has brought salvation to us, the living God that came in the flesh, that dwelt amongst us in the name of Jesus Christ, the one that has been revealed to us, that came with truth and grace to deliver us in the name of Jesus Christ. The church has been built and founded in the earth, here on earth, in the name of Jesus Christ, and it can never be overturned, it can never be broken. Your word cannot return to you, it will never fail in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you that we walk in the light, that in our sins we can run to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are running to you today in our sins. We do not belong to those that shrink back and are destroyed because of unbelief, because of their unbelief. We run unto you and we are saved, O Lord God. You use us as building blocks, O Lord God. We contend for our personal faith with everything within us. We get every satanic devices in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you this morning. You have spoken the word over us, O Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are empowered to do good works. We shake, O Lord God, every founding for every faulty foundation within the hands of God. We come against the spirit of lying spirit and false prophets and teachers. Father, we please bring the blood of Jesus Christ upon the church. We are empowered to live for you. We are empowered to pray. We are empowered to worship you in spirit and truth in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed are they that come in the name of the Lord. We come in your name. We gather in your name. We are blessed. Cause of death that do not come in the name of the Lord, that are coming to cause affliction, that are coming to cause sorrow. We come against you. Your satanic altar cannot flourish within the house of God. We speak against your devices. We pull you down in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you this day. We thank you for souls that we come into your kingdom. We bless you for those that have gone into the adversary. Blessed are those that have faced for righteousness. Day. They will inherit your kingdom. They are coming. Oh God, we souls. Oh God Almighty. In the name of God, your word is a lamp unto their feet and a light unto their path as you lead them. Father, Lord, to the dark places of this world. They speak as your oracle. Signs, wonders, and miracles in this going with them. Father, they are lifting up your children, oh God of man, from every bondage of the enemy. They are delivering your children, baptizing them, carrying out great works in the name of Jesus Christ in the nations. We bless God for the good works that the church will do around the world today. In Jesus' mighty name, we humble ourselves before you. We have come this morning to also pray for your children looking up to you for the blessing of the world. Touch them. Send forth help in the name of Jesus Christ. Send forth their children. In the name of Jesus Christ, let every altar erected against them come now by the power of the living God. Satanic pronouncements, whatever they have done, Father, you are forgiving them. No one can accuse them. The blood of Jesus Christ is speaking for them. Let husbands be pregnant, their wives. Let wives carry pregnancy to food them. Oh God Almighty, help them to bring for their babies into this world. Then you may be dedicated to you. Parents are alive. We renounce every cause, no death and shine birth. Oh God, that which was done against our mothers cannot reign in this generation. We put a stop to it in our generation. It do not go for us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. We curse you. We come against you. You evil force of darkness. We trample upon you. God prevails in our matters. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you. We thank you for everything you have done for us today. Touch this morning the death of loved ones. We assure them that you love them. That you are their God. That you know what they are passing through. In the name of Jesus Christ. No evil shall prevail against them. We are not the most wretched of things created. We will inherit your kingdom when we die. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us know that our loved ones who knew you but our Lord who walked with you, they are resting. Oh God Almighty, you are God you will not lie. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bless you this morning for making situations beautiful in our homes in the name of Jesus Christ. In our homes, in the name of Jesus Christ. In all of our relationships with our husbands, with our wives, with our children, with our extended communities in the name of Jesus Christ. You are made situation beautiful for us in Jesus' mighty name. You are sent forth help in the name of Jesus Christ. Breakthrough in medical science that everything we use for our personal care our medical care. You are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. You are held by the hands of those attending to our preachers in the pharmaceutical companies, in the, the, in, in the, in the pro, in medical profession, in the name of Jesus Christ, wherever, those bubbling our food and our water, they have brought them that do evil, that introduce poison into our food, the judgment of God is upon your heads, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ the blood of Jesus is speaking against you in the name of Jesus Christ, your grief for money will kill you, in the name of Jesus Christ, that money you will not use it for good you will use it for evil, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will not enjoy any money you get through corruption means in the name of Jesus Christ because the blessing of God means rich and has no sorrow. Any other means through which you make money will bring 
sorrow to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will wake up to eat the bread of sorrow as you have freed the children of God around the world. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we bless you this morning. Thank you, God, for touching our tongues this morning. Thank you for giving us inner strength. Lord, within our belly, there's our flowing spring of living waters. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God who has lifted up our heads and in the heads of every member of our households. God who has sent help to us today. God who has brought comfort, who has given us strength today. We are leaping of our words in the name of Jesus Christ. We are rejoicing and celebrating. But our Lord, your goodness this day in Jesus' mighty and precious name. That our God, you will never fail us. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we have prayed. Amen. The Lord reigns. Blessed be our God. May the rock of our salvation be exalted. May God be exalted in our lives today in Jesus' mighty name. Our God will never fail us. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Some people in my audience I cannot say this morning. God bless you. I saw uh, something from my sister, Satoin Ulu Ben Bena. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that is behind the scene that has no notification but you're able to see my message, I bless God for you in the name of Jesus Christ. We will not be ashamed of the power of God working in us and through us and through this ministry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I acknowledge the presence of God, acknowledge the good things God God is doing right now in your life. Acknowledge that all oh, everything is being overturned. That I do not speak through my own power, but through the power of the living God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that the Spirit of God is helping us. Pray for this ministry. Pray for me. Pray for my family. Pray against every attack, every word coming from the pit of hell, going back upon the heads of the senders. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm doing the work God has called me to do. Glory be to God. God who has called me will give me everything I need to carry on. In the name of Jesus Christ, glory be to God. I bless God for what God is doing in our lives, in our families. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, we hear shouts of victory and rejoicing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No one can open their mind to have it, their mouth to speak their mouth to speak any satanic pronouncement over us. It will not stand in the name of Jesus Christ. When we are the children of the living God, we are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. We receive the peace of God in all our situations today. That peace of God that surpasses human understanding. Glory be to God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We contend not for anyone's spiritual gift, for God has given all of us spiritual gifts in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We all be anointed by, by, by God. Pray that God. We reveal to you what your spiritual gift is so that you begin to walk for God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For God has called on the first one to the ministry of reconciliation. He's relying on us to preach this word, to go out, to preach it, and to bring us into his kingdom. Ask, Lord, oh, Rabbi, draw near to God, and even draw near to you that you begin to use your spiritual gift to bless God, to bless the kingdom. You'll know, speak as the oracle of God. We contend not for anyone's spiritual gift or position in the name of Jesus Christ. For God has placed us in our right positions in the name of Jesus Christ, and we walk as and speak as the oracle of God. Walk on righteous background through the spirit of God leading us and helping us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. What you do not give, you cannot take. No one can lift up their hands to take the life they have not given. No one can speak against the life they have not given. Even the children that you have, they came from God. You cannot sacrifice them on any evil altars. In the name of Jesus Christ, no one can speak against their destiny. But well, they hear the that for they are children of God. But the word of God says, do not send them back. So many children will come unto him. For such belong to his kingdom. They are his children. In the name of Jesus Christ, wonderful and fearfully made by God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Unique in their own ways. In the hands of the mighty God. In the name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke you. Attention destiny disorder. Everything taking the attention of our children. We come against you. Every form of free criminal tendencies. We come against you. Chains of drug addiction and mental illness. We come against you. Emotional, emotional issues. We come against you. Autism. By whatever name it is called. Anything holding that children today. Those who are in specialized hospitals that are sick today. Father, move mightily. They are yours. We place them in your hands, Lord God. Change them in foundation of evil. Anything I our children in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, rise, oh, Rabbanabashenda, 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 overturn every plan of the wicked in the name of Jesus Christ. Our children are blessed and they cannot be cursed in Jesus' mighty and precious name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. I will read Psalm 134 this morning. Praise the Lord, all you servants of the Lord who minister by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your, ha your hands in the sanctuary and praise the Lord. May the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth, bless you from Zion. All you ministers of the Lord, amen. All who minister by night in the house of the Lord, that lift up your hands in the sanctuary and praise the Lord. So the expectation of our God is that his ministers will minister by night in his house. That his ministers do not speak throughout the night as if they are not aware of the devices of the enemy. They wake up at the night time. They pray for the nations. They intercede. They lift up their hands to the sanctuary. Lifting up their hands to the nations. And calling on God as intercessors. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They lift up your hands in the sanctuary. And praise the Lord. 
You minister of the Lord by night. Awake from your slumber. Awake from your sleep. Praise God. Pray for your nations. Pray for the body of Christ. Pray for your governments in the name of Jesus Christ. As we are going to read today from the example of Father Abraham. Amen. Abraham in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say that word two ways. Abraham, Abraham. And actually, when you go to the Google uh, pronunciation, you see that it's pronounced differently in different parts of the world. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. There's no one way to say anything right. <laughs> Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Genesis chapter 18, beginning from verse, 18, uh, verse 16. Abraham pleads for Sodom. Glory be to God. When you plead, you intercede. You go before God. You present the petition of the people. The Father. See what they have done. Evil has increased. We are aware of all our wrongdoings. Have mercy. Let your mercy speak for us. Let the blood of Jesus Christ speak for us. Let your righteous judgment prevail against us. You know, prevail for us. Amen. Against every satanic judgment. You know that the natural inclination of our hearts as human beings is to sin. We are wavered in all our ways. But because of your righteousness, sake, have mercy. We have offended you. So much shedding of blood on the land, so much corruption, so much hatred, so much bitterness, so much confusion. The things we have brought upon ourselves. Have mercy, forgive us. So much sexual immorality in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The hearts of men have been hiding against us, against you. You know that what we have done. We have not shown your love. We have not been considerate of one another. We have used the organ of government as a rod of affliction. Have mercy. Your children that you speak up have often not spoken up. The church often have not spoken up. Have mercy upon us. That's how we intercede. That's how we plead with God concerning the wrongdoings of our sins here on earth. Father Abraham interceded. He has God for mercy upon the land of Sodom. Jesus Christ is that is in, is a, is a city on our behalf today. Let us rejoice that God sent His Son to die for us in our sins. That we always have a high priest that we never die. A high priest that we intercede. One that can walk with God. One that was obedient to God when he walked on the surface of this earth. One that has absolved us from all unrighteousness. Through his blood, we have been redeemed. We are priests unto God today. Thank God for what we have in Jesus Christ. He interceded for us. We too are intercessors in this world. We must pray for the nations. As it is in heaven, so it will be on earth. The four elders and the 24, uh, 24 elders and the four living creatures before the altar of God. The bow of incense they carry are the prayers coming from the earth unto God. As sweet spirit summer unto the altar of God. Go to the book of Revelation and read. You will see that the prayers we are saying here on earth, when we pray in accordance to the will of God, that the effectual fervent prayer. Of the righteous man have been left much. It has been carried in those bowls of incense, bringing sweet men before God, that God forgives us of our sins. He sends forth benefits. He absolves us of all unrighteousness when we plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is that is that city for us. The Spirit of God is in that city and helping us, revealing to us the things we need to know, and we are joining, appealing to the world to be reconciled back to God, to walk on righteous ground. It is going up. It is going up. It is going up in the name of Jesus Christ. Before the throne of mercy, we receive the help we need. That's what we do. Why we pray. Why the house of God is called a house of prayer for all nations. As we pray, it goes up in the name of Jesus Christ. Being carried by the elders, by the Christians. They bow down before the throne of God. That's what they are carrying in those bowls in their hands. Our prayers. Going up to God. That's why we must pray. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the spirit of prayer fall upon us. Fall upon our nations. Fall upon the children of Christ. Christ. Pray that it will go up. That those bowls will be filled with incense. We will be filled with the smoke and rising before the throne of mercy for us. That we may receive the help we need here on earth. In Jesus mighty name. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. In my spiritual eyes, I can see. In the name of Jesus Christ, I can see how God looks on us. Oh God, God of mercy. 
Oh God, we bless you for what you can do for us. We thank you for the elders, leading us both before you this morning. We thank you that their heads are bowed and in worship of you. That their heads are bowed and in worship of you here on earth today. In the name of Jesus Christ, as we lift up prayers on behalf of our families, on behalf of our nations, on behalf of our children, in the name of Jesus Christ, on behalf of our government, in the name of Jesus Christ, and the body of Christ, they are coming up to you. We thank you for intercessors. Thank you, Jehovah God, in Jesus' mighty and precious name. Amen. The Lord reigns. Blessed be our God. Be the rock of our salvation. Be exalted. May God be exalted in our lives today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We are going to reign now. Glory be to God. Abraham, please, for Sodom. For Sodom. When the men got, got up to leave, the three men, the angels that God sent to Abraham, he recognized them. We said the last time that we should pray that we recognize angels, messengers of God, when they come to us. We pray that we should see them, we see the, 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 the difference in them, amen, that spiritual, that continence, the way they are coming, in the power and glory of God, that we should see it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that we should welcome them, Abraham welcomed them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, he prepared food for them, he gave them water to drink, amen, he gave them a place to rest, he gave them water to wash their feet, he went to his wife, cook for these strangers, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, he went to, to his, his men, go and get the choices, the big, the, the fattest the, of, of, of my, of my ram, of my lamb of my goat prepare for this man in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He prepared and he did not eat. He stand, he stood afar. Oh, uh, he was attending to them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He did not join them. That I'm the owner of the house. Let me eat with you. Amen. He just stood there attending to them. After when, when, as the food was presented to them and they were eating, and they asked for the wife. Amen. And they had a word of prophecy for him. We pray that that we we recognize those that God will send to us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In whatever way they appear, because of long journey, they may appear like mad people. They may appear anyhow. Recognize them. See the spirit of God upon them. See that they have walked long distances. They are battled with principalities, with angels of darkness to get to us in the name of Jesus Christ. They have been on spiritual warfare, trying to reach us from wherever they are coming in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are resisting all the, all the evil force of darkness attempting to prevent the message and blessed of God to come upon us. So when they come to us, they may look tired. Amen. In the harbor center. May we have water to give to them. May we have food to give to them. May we be able to wash their feet. May we be able to attend to them. Give them everything they need in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that they will give us the pronouncement. God righteous judgment concerning us. The will of God concerning us. And when Abraham did that, they said that at this time, by this time next year, that surely that Sarah will have a, a, a child. Amen. A child. Amen. That child of blessing, Isaac. Amen. So I did not believe it. They are all beating they saw. They were dry. They were old. That how can this happen at this time? Can I enjoy this pleasure in this time? But God knows with God, nothing shall be impossible. Everything may look dry to you today. It may be as, as if everything has nothing uh, 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 will come out. There's no fruitfulness in, anywhere. The word of God will not change. His promise concerning us will not change. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it will be as God said it to be. In the name of Jesus Christ, we must listen. In the name of Jesus Christ, and wait patiently. In the name of Jesus Christ, the trying of our faith produces patience. Amen. Patience must finish its work in us to make us complete and mature, lacking nothing. We must hold on to the word of God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So these three men, when they had finished, amen, and, and that when the men got up to leave, they looked down towards Sodom, Sodom, and Abraham walked along with them to see them on their way. He escorted them. He did not leave them. Let them go. He escorted them on their way. Then the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham what I am going to do? God, considering, revealing the secret, the mystery in his heart, of his kingdom to men, that's what he does when he has found you to be righteous, he reveals things to you. You hear the voice of God, he will not hide things from you. Glory be to God. What you need to know to save humanity, to be an intercessor, he will reveal it to you. When you are praying, you see you, you are seeing the sins and you are uttering them. When you listen to your message, you know that it's by the power of God that you have said those things in the name of Jesus Christ. They are touching the points where God wants us to touch. And God said. Shall I hide from Abraham what I am about to do? Abraham will surely become a great and powerful nation. Amen. Promise did not change. And all nations on earth will be blessed through him. This man that will become a great nation, through whom I will bless all the nations of the earth. Is it right? Is it good for me to withhold what I want to do to this nation to him? Is it good for me not to tell him? This one that I have chosen, that has worked with me, this one is how we're blessed. That's how God thinks about us. When we walk with him, when we draw close to God, God draws nearer to us, closer to us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Amen. For I have chosen him 
so that he will direct his children and his household after him to keep the way. You see, God shows it. God shows us. We do not choose ourselves. To keep the way of the Lord by doing what is right and just. So that the Lord will bring about for Abraham what he has promised. God is revealing to us so that we know the righteous judgment of God against every any nation that has turned their backs against God. We know why God will punish people. We know why God will bless people. So that we will walk righteously with God. So that we will have the fear of God in us. We will choose to fear God. We will choose to honor God. We will choose to acknowledge God in all our ways in the name of Jesus Christ. I do not want this man to be in, blind, in, in, in ignorance. Because the people perish because of lack of knowledge. I want to give him knowledge about what I am going to do to that evil nation. So that he will walk righteously with me. I'm blessing the entire world through him. That's what we are doing by studying the book of Genesis. Amen. So that we know why God blessed nations. Why some people were accounted unto them as righteousness for what they did with God. Why they had faith to work with God to believe God. So that we too can learn from their example and begin to apply wisdom to our days in the name of Jesus Christ. That we and our families will be blessed. Glory be to God. God does not hide his spiritual principles. They are in the Bible. Reveal to us so that we will be strong men and women of God. That we do the work of God and give God pleasure through our deeds here on earth in the name of Jesus Christ. Study the word of God for yourself. Not just what anyone is saying. Go there, study and ask God to enlighten your eyes to see, to understand everything that you read. As much that God needs you to know at this time that you will receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Verse 20. Then the Lord said, The outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is so great and their sin so, so grievous that I will go down and see if what they have done is as hard is as bad as the outcry that has reached out reach me if not i will know god himself that the outcry against these two nations too great i will go down to see if what i've heard is true amen the mercy of god he does not want to judge them before seeing before coming down to see glory be to god it's not based on what people say said i'm going down they are my children let me go and see god still does it today Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. 22. The men turned away and went towards Sodom, but Ab Abraham remained standing before the Lord. He remained standing before the Lord. Then Ab Abraham approached then Abraham approached him and said, Will you sweep away the righteous with the wicked? What if there are 50 righteous people in the city? Will you really sweep them away and not spare? The place for the sake of the fifty righteous people in it. Far be it from me to do such a thing, to kill the righteous with the wicked, treating the righteous and the wicked alike. Far be it from, from, from you. Will not the judge of all the earth do right? Abraham was able to negotiate with God, talk with God, the Father Lord. If there are fifty righteous men in this land of Sudan and Gomorrah, we do because of this because of the wicked wipe away everybody sweep all of them away kill them because of the wicked that that's not you you are a righteous god we look to that god he had the bonus the power because god gave him access to him to discuss with god god will give us access to come in through the blood of jesus christ to lift up petitions to pray and intercede on, on, on behalf of the nations that god should not destroy the entire world because of the righteous those who seek god for they are still here glory be to god Hallelujah. May the will of God be done. The righteousness of God, not us. That which Jesus Christ did for us, may it prevail in every situation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Verse 20, 26. The Lord said, If I find 50 righteous people in the city of Sodom, I will spare the whole place for their sake. If I find 50, I will spare the whole nation for, their sake, for the sake of the 50. Amen. The Abraham spoke up again. Now that I have been so bold, as to speak to the Lord, though I am nothing but dust and ashes, what if the number of the righteous is five, five less than fifty? Will you destroy the whole city because of the five? Still asking, because when God spoke, He knew that there would be that fifty. They would not find fifty righteous people, so He reduced it. Are you going to destroy the Sodom and Gomorrah because of uh, when they find for the five righteous people there? Amen. That if I find for the five there, He said, I will not destroy it. If I find 45, I will not destroy the land. Glory be to God. Once again, he spoke to him. What if only 40 are found there? He said, for the sake of 40, I will not do so. Do it. Then he said, 
May the Lord not be angry, but let me speak. What if all his thirty can be found there? He answered, I will not do it if I find thirty there. Abraham said, Now that I have been so bold to, as to speak to the Lord, what if only twenty can be found there? The Lord said, For the sake of twenty, I will not destroy it. Then he said, May the Lord not be angry. He's interceding. What's other Abraham doing? Interceding, appealing, begging God for the people. Father, do not destroy this land. Father, have mercy. Father, have mercy. I know you will not find 45. You will not find 30. Father, what if you find 20? Father, Lord, have mercy. Forgive me. Don't be angry with me. Forgive me, for I know the sins of the people. But show mercy. That's what he's saying. Thank God that we have Jesus Christ, our high priest. We do not need to, to share the blood of bull and rams today or goats. Through his blood, we have been redeemed. Thank God for what God has given to us. As intercessors, we are standing in the gap today. Through the name of Jesus Christ, to appeal to God concerning our nations. God have mercy. Have mercy. Let the blood of Jesus Christ speak for us. We know we have seen and fallen short of your glory. Have mercy. That's what Abraham did for the nation of Sodom and Gomorrah. Have mercy, God. You are a righteous God. Holy judge. You will not lift up your hands, O Lord God, to kill your children. You are the same God that told, told Noah that you never destroy this world again because of the sin of man. You threw the flood waters. You never destroy the world again. Father, have mercy. You are the God that says that you know that the natural inclination of the hearts of men is to sin, that nothing good can come out from man. Father, have mercy. That's what Father Abraham is doing. That's what we do when we intercede. Have mercy. We have sinned. We acknowledge our sins. We do not belong to those that hide their sins and our bones are destroyed. We repent of our sins that we may live. We see your hands are stretched towards us. We are running to your hands. We know what our leaders have done. We know what we have done. We are as guilty as our leaders. For we have allowed corruption to rule in the nations. We have received bribe money. We have, we have lied. We are indulged in all sorts of social immorality. We have brought evil upon the nations, upon families. We have sinned. Have mercy upon us. Let the blood of Jesus Christ speak for us today in Jesus' mighty name. That's what we do in the name of Jesus Christ. It's not about self-condemnation or judgment. It's about coming and says before God and acknowledging before God that we are sinners. That the righteous judgment of God will prevail. That the mercy of God will prevail in our situation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We cannot point our fingers at anybody. Let those fingers be pointed back to us. That we examine and says in the light of God's word. Because we know what we have done. Yes, if we have not stolen, we have lied. If we have not lied, have we hated? Have we, not, have we forgiven everybody that has sinned against us? What have we done? Have we done the work that God has called us to do? Do we take care of our families? Amen. Do we allow unity to reign where we are? Do we show the love of God? Are we faithful servants of our God? Are we upholding the banner over us, the love of God for humanity? Do we think of God's people as one in the name of Jesus Christ? Do we have hatred to people against people because of the color of their skins, because of their religion, because of their ethnicity, because of their nationality, because of their tribes in the name of Jesus Christ, because of their sexes, and whatever? What have we done? Who are we? In the light of God's word, we examine ourselves. For we cannot judge anyone. God is a righteous judge. What we can do is to intercede. Father, have mercy. Forgive us. For the sins of adultery, fornication, incest. He forgive us for strange utters. For in times we use our mouths to curse and to say things contrary to your will. And we still come to you to praise you, to, to beg you, to intercede with those mouths and tongues that we have used for evil. Forgive us, God. For he knows us. We deceive ourselves. We cannot deceive God. We deceive ourselves when we stray away from the presence of God. Forgive us, O Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He is God that forgives us. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We continue to read about Father Abraham this morning. Then he said, May the Lord God not be angry, but let me speak. What if only 30 can be found here? He answered, I will not do it if I find 30 there. Abraham said, Now that I have been bold, been so bold as to speak to the Lord, what if only 20 can be found there? Amen. He said, For the sake of 20, I will not destroy it. Then he said, May the Lord not be angry, but let me speak just more, just once more. What if only ten can be found there? He answered, For the sake of ten, I will not destroy it. When the Lord had finished speaking with Abraham, he left, and Abraham returned home. Glory be to God. 
the matter is settled. There was no one righteous soul there. Amen. Abraham did not continue to intercede, to ask God. For the matter was settled by the word of God. That if I find this amount of people there that are righteous, I will not destroy it. It is now for God to go to see. And if he finds that amount of people that are righteous in Sodom and Gomorrah, the city will stand forever. He will not destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ. God has sent the, the angel of death, uh, the angel of judgment into Sodom and Gomorrah. If they find, as Father Abraham has spoken, any righteous soul in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the land will not be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. We pray that when we sin against God, that there will be righteous people that will still work with God. People like Father Abraham in our towns, in our communities, in our nations, in our families, that will not be swept away because of evil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today, God has given us a Savior in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We cannot be righteous through our own efforts, but through Jesus Christ, we can become the children of God righteous are uh, sins blotted away by the blood of jesus christ the hands of god are answered to a sinner waiting for us to come to him those who acknowledge that god has given us a savior and another savior jesus christ that will walk in the light of god we will receive the righteous judgment of god oh rabba, rabba, preservation preservation of our souls in the mighty name of jesus christ overturning of every satanic judgment today are we ready to receive the salvation of jesus christ let us bow our heads and thank god for his faithfulness glory be to god hallelujah Father, we bless you, righteous God, righteous judge. Thank you for everything you have done for us. That our God, there's no God as they. You have made us glad. Thank you for sending forth help to us through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We have been redeemed by that blood. We pray that your children around the world will work righteously. They will see your hands as stretched with them. They will run to you to receive salvation. As many that will run to you, you have given power to become your children in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you that your word will never change. You love us so much. Receive all the praise and honor for what you have done for us. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we have prayed. Glory, hallelujah, amen. The Lord reigns. Blessed be our God, be the rock of our salvation, be exalted, may God be exalted in our lives today. In Jesus' mighty name, be blessed this day. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen.